So I, I guess first, and I also love In the Mouth of Madness, and I know that you produced uh, that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I you. I have to say something about that one. It's a classic for me. Um, so you obviously do a lot. You know, you have Storm Kim comics, which is amazing. I've um, actually covered quite a few of them myself on my website. Really? Yes. Thank you. I enjoy them very much. Um, just was reading one of the newest ones uh, come out this month. Um, I can't remember the name. It's God. Uh, of God list. Yes. 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 Niall's book. Yes. Um, and obviously you've been a producer. So I'm just wondering, you know, how this all started for you? Were you always a fan of, of horror and of like genre? Because I know there's also sci-fi, obviously. But um, was, was that always something that you wanted to strive to get involved with and you were always a fan of? I was always a fan. Um, I think I'm one of the least ambitious people on the face of the planet. Just doors open and I walk through them. <laughs> um, I... I worked for all kinds of of directors doing all kinds of movies. I did comedies, I did dr drama, I did horror. Yeah. Um, you know, I worked, I came up through Roger Corman like a lot of people, um, but I did movies like 16 Candles and Killing of a Chinese Bookie with Cassavetes and, um, uh, you know, so I worked, I worked with everybody in town, but mm -hmm. I, I always was a big fan of horror movies, horror books. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the first novels I read when I was 10 was uh, Frankenstein, and then I read Dracula, and then I read The Island of Dr. Moreau, and I, <laughs> I just plowed my way through all of them. Right. Um, so I've always liked it. Um, I, I like that that horror, horror and comedy both tell us things about our world and about ourselves. And um, I'm much more attuned to horror. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, horror is an allegorical medium. Yeah, absolutely. And so the best horror uh, explores the depths of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like that. And it's what I choose in the comics as well. I think that's uh, something, I mean, I think you said it perfectly. I think uh, one of the coolest things about horror and something I'm always trying to get people to understand that don't like it because they assume it's always going to be like also always just gore, gore or something like that. But um, there's so much opportunity for exploration of just like the human psyche and uh, so yeah. much of our, you know, real world revolves around fear. So it's always something that's very fascinating to me. Um, how did you, like, tell us how the origin of Storm King Comics came to be? Like, what made you decide to to branch into the comic world? I got pissed in a, in a TV series meeting at a studio <laughs> and um, they were trying to change something that was set in Los Angeles. Uh, with Lucifer coming through in the city of angels is kind of a fuck you to God. And um, they were, and I said, no, everybody says this, but location is a, a character yeah. in the story. And we always do a lot of art for every pitch that we do. And um, this under assistant development person said, well, it's not like we're matching to a graphic novel or anything. Uh -huh. And I said, well, actually it is. And I got kicked by an agent under the table and by uh, a very tall uh, actor under the table and um, walked out and I said, what was that all about? And I said, these people are not going to make this series. They just want to say they're producing a John Carpenter series, but it's not really going to get made. And um, we should do a comic book. And I came home and I talked to my husband and, and he said, how'd it go? And I said, great, we're doing a comic book. And he said, what do we know about comics? And I said, nothing, but we'll learn. So I spent two years uh developing uh, and studying um the business and the art of comics and it's one of those things where just because uh people are going to have just because um, okay. 
we've read comics doesn't mean we know how to make them. Right. Yeah. So you kind of had to educate yourself. Oh, <laughs> oh this is Mr. Bones. <laughs> Mr. Bones. Hi, Mr. Bones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like he just, someone just put him in the frame. That was adorable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go away. Oh, good, um, <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, yes, yeah, so you had to educate yourself to to a degree yeah. on what how that was, yeah, how that worked to a huge degree, and um, and we learned. <laughs> we had a lot of friends in the comic business, uh, you know, Steve Niles, Tim Bradstreet, Jimmy Palmiotti. All those people were really giving of their time. Um, Bruce Jones, who started out writing Asylum was great i was editing him and found he wasn't really writing the ip but i was falling for it every time and i wanted to know why you know why did i sign off on each uh book and then realized it's not the ip why am i falling for it and that taught me about how to write comics hmm. and i studied him because he was really great he was really good but it wasn't our story. So I'd be like, okay, why, why is it that each time I read him, I fall for it? And that taught me about page turns and suspense and all that stuff that you have to get into 22 pages. Right, which is very different from film. Yep, yep, but it's a great discipline. It's really a great writer's discipline. So um, it was really educational. I found I really liked it. And then 100 books later, this is where we are. Oh, yeah, that's, that's impressive. Um, and I imagine, I mean, it's been also, I'm sure, a very fun journey. Because, I mean, it's got to be, you know, I have a fun job making comics, right? <laughs> you know? Um, it is. It's hard. It, it's hard, hard work. work. It's crazy making. But, um, yeah, we have a good time. So what is like the day in the life? Like, what do you do day to day? I'm just curious, like, as far as your work, <laughs> like, what does it look like to you? Are you looking at new potential artists for your comics? Are you, you know, working? I'm sure a lot of it's publicity. I know you have Comic-Con coming up, which is incredible. Um, but just normal day to day, what is it like for you? Well, the bulk of the work is carried out by uh, my managing editor, Sean Sobchak, and myself. And... Um, then we have a, uh, a head of marketing, uh, Esther Kim, mm -hmm. and we have a brand manager. Uh, uh, come on, Winter, last name. Um, <laughs> so Winter, you know, guides overall on the whole Storm King movies and everything else. Winter Mitchell. And, um, and then we have our publicist, John Singh. And so there's a whole team that has uh, full meetings of the whole the whole group at least once a week, um, and then there's phone calls that are going on constantly. Yeah, my mornings tend to start with uh, uh, film business and TV business. That started early this morning with a, a TV show rundown. Um, and then um so the fi the film calls go on pretty much all day interspersing all of the uh comic book calls yeah. and then um we pretty much we have uh i always tell people um i don't accept solicitations for the comics i hunt the writers and artists i want down mm -hmm. And so part of that goes on at uh, San Diego Comic-Con and part of that goes on at New York Comic-Con. And the other part is just like a seek and destroy heat seeking missile. When there's somebody I really, really want, I find them. Awesome. And, uh, try and convince them how great it would be to work for us. Um, oh, that's, that's wonderful. And yeah, um, that's what my days are like, which is not very busy. No, no. <laughs> And then I had my knee replaced a few months ago and uh, physical therapies in the middle of that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Hopefully you're, uh, you're it's better, well. better than how it was. So. Yeah, I can imagine. 
Um, no, I mean, you cram a lot in. So you're, you know, always involved in TV and film production as well. Like yeah. that's just as much part of your life as the comics you'd say. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that that's ongoing. And uh, when they all collide, it's hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Um, do you have a certain passion, like in particular for one of those that you feel is like really true to your heart, like film, TV, comics? I got to say that I, I love them all. Yeah, um, for different reasons. For sure. Yeah, I couldn't really give up one of them. Um, I can't imagine living without any of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's the comics grew and grew. And I would be sunk if uh, if Sean uh, didn't love comics so much. And he's grown into it like nobody's business. Um, he now writes one uh, every year for the anthology and he's a great writer. Um, which he didn't anticipate, <laughs> but because of editing so many, because he has a natural eye for a lot of it, um, he's immersed in the comics, um, much more than the film and, and the TV stuff. Yeah. And so I got to ask, you know, you guys are quite the, uh, <laughs> dynamic duo. Um, what's it like collaborating, uh, with, with your with your husband on so many things well there's a lot of trust yeah and um he only threatens to divorce me maybe <laughs> every other year that's good so <laughs> <laughs> well he thinks i'm really annoying but um no i mean we've been together for 40 years wow congratulations that's... thank you <laughs> <laughs> well you know you have to laugh a lot. You do. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really do. <laughs> kind of a necessity of life, I think. I think so. Yeah. You know, and and if you cease liking what you do, that's then you got to change things. But um, we like what we do. We're good at it. Um, he's doing a lot more music now. He's um, fantastic. Obviously. Uh -huh. Obviously, you know that. I'm sure you know that more than anyone. But yeah, no, I mean his uh, his. I know that he just recently released some music. Yep, uh, it's very good. I, I have it on my playlist. <laughs> ah, and he um has been scoring um, was it, Death of a Unicorn? Yeah, Death of a Unicorn. And so there'll be even more music out. <laughs> The end of the year i imagine um oh, that's awesome yeah and so you're going to comic-con um are you excited what can we expect from you at the uh at the convention itself um a big booth lots of exclusives nice um about three panels um I'm on a horror panel that Jim Owsley's putting together. Um, we have, uh, and that'll be a kind of a cool one. It's got um, a bunch of horror writers. Um, there's gonna be, I think there's three panels. We've got, I've got another one with some of our writers, including Amanda Dybert and myself and, um, Gosh, I can't even remember anymore because, like I said, there's different people on all three three panels, but they're in the program. That sounds very exciting. Sounds like a lot. I yeah. am unfortunately not going to be there, but I hope oh. uh, hope to someday run into you at one of these. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, they're they're fun, it, and it's fun when when we get the the panels scheduled properly, and we can get some follow back to the booth and talk to people further and sign their books and do that yeah. kind of stuff. lots of signings yeah I, i'm sure <laughs> and you'll yeah. be there yourself oh the yeah thing. yeah i'll be there for the whole thing yeah. and um this year we won't have the monsters and so last year we had some monsters at the booth and, oh, know, cool. from in the mouth of madness we had meatball 
yeah. that Greg Nicotero uh, had done some work on for us and made him look a little perkier than he did. Uh, so this year, I don't think we're bringing any monsters because that's a real pain to get in and out of there. Um, we'll have lots of books, lots of creators signing. Yeah. And me. <laughs> and you, right, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that's, that's incredible, and that's coming right up. So I hope you yeah. have a you know fantastic Comic-Con. And um, yeah. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. And it's been wonderful chatting with you and learning about kind of your journey. And um, I guess, is there anything else that you're coming out with that you'd like to, you know, or films or TV or anything else that you'd like, that you're working on that you'd like to tell us about? I can't tell you about it. <laughs> it's too early. Yeah, and okay. Yeah. All the networks don't let us, you know, they have a big thing about being the ones to announce them. Right, of course. Well, That's we're excited way. nonetheless. I'm excited nonetheless. AMC has a series of ours, so that'll be out. And um, we've got uh, two features that are in the works. And so there'll be stuff. <laughs> Plenty of stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love to hear it. Thank you so much again for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. Take 